Hey everyone, this is Dink Gamer coming at you with another episode of Days Gone. That's right, I'm going to come at you tonight with some Days Gone. It's been a little while since we've done an episode. Uh, this will be episode number two. Uh, I did most of the intro stuff. We went through kind of a area with a bunch of uh, freakers. Boozer got himself burnt and... We're making our way back to our home base. So while this is loading, let me just say to everybody that I am very grateful for you watching and viewing my videos. If you have not done so, please go down and smack that like button if you like what you see. And also, please go over and subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get alerts to every single time I post a new video. Uh, you can also check me out on Twitter at DinkGamer. So go over there and check me out there as well. If you would also please go down below and use uh, the comments area to leave whatever comments you would like. We're going to go ahead and continue here. Um, probably going to have one more load screen. The load screens are pretty long on this game, I have to admit. They take a while. It's kind of frustrating. However, if you can be patient and get through the load screens, the gameplay, the graphics, the music, the story, um, it is all really, really good. So just have to be patient with the load screens is all. Today is December 14th. Um, we are getting really close to Christmas 2019. So happy holidays to everybody out there. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. And once we get a little bit closer, I hope you enjoy your family, your friends, and all of the festive stuff that goes along with the holiday. Hanging out in the basement tonight with my dog. My dog Reed. How you doing, Reed? Reed is a uh, rat terrier, kind of a high energy, goofy sort of boy, but he's my little man, and I love him. But we're hanging out, doing a little bit of recording, and uh, I think this is the first time he's been down here with me. Thought we'd never make it. Hey, uh, so here's Deacon St. John sure and uh, Boozer. Get back to their pad, if you will. Alright, pretty much like we left it. But not like there's much to steal. Just gonna reintroduce myself. Oh. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna go out, find some shit for your arm to get my bike. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that neuro checkpoint. They gotta uh, have sterile bandages uh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey, I've got some ammo if you need it. In the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey, don't take my shotgun. Oh, <laughs> so now we're losing. Uh, Probably the best weapon that we could possibly have right. at this point in the game because Boozer wants his shotgun back. So I'll show you guys the moment what we're going to have for weapons. We're going to go in here and check the foot locker. So, primary weapons zero. Sidearms, we still have our pistol. And now for special weapons, we have a new item. We have a crossbow, and now we switch over to a drifter crossbow, which does make it does a little bit more damage and is a little bit more accurate. So we're gonna go ahead and equip that. Now I be I'll be very honest, I don't use it very much. But we'll take it with. I mean, what the heck? So this is the Foot locker that has the ammo in it. I got three crossbow 
bolts. So we're going to head on out here. Um, when we get down uh, off the tower here, if you go around their camp, they actually have supplies kind of all over the place. They're just, it's an opportunity for you to get some free uh, gear, weapons, um, just different stuff. And at this point in time, it kind of looks as if though. I can use this. Okay, I got a rag and a beer bottle, so otherwise everything else I'm kind of full on. Uh, we'll see what we got over here. I got a beer bottle and a sterilizer. Uh, full on that stuff. Now you can also... Um, Go around to different plants. I need these. So I got one black current. And uh, let's see what else we can find here. Uh, maybe that's it. One wood lily. One mountain sorrel. And that looks to be it. So, we're going to head out on foot here. Aim, fall off. Crossbow bullets are affected by gravity and will drop as they travel to their target. When shooting at something far away, aim higher to make sure your bolt hits its mark. Okay. Alright. Let's head out. So that's Boozer's bike. Uh, crafting bolts. You can create new crossbow bolts by crafting them. Cedar saplings provide the wood and scrap makes the tip. Combine the two in the survival wheel and by expanding the crossbow category and crafting the bolt. Okay. So there we got some and there is some over here. All right. So our little cursor is having us go this way. Oh, Boozer and there's a person. Yeah, Deke. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. What the hell? What's he doing? No idea. I'm going to follow him. See if there's some more where he came from. Deacon out. So we're going to follow this guy. So either they stopped or they slowed down or something because I'm catching up pretty fast. Okay, here we go. Stealth marking. Toggle the binoculars with up and press R2 to mark enemies. Marking enemies makes it easier to follow their movements. Track. Track. Human enemies will display their awareness levels. Okay. So what'd you find? It's just like I said. Those drifters we saw riding on the same bike, they're holed up, just up the road. Yeah? No shit. Hell of a setup. Some kind of lookout tower, got a fence and everything. I'll 
course for the ticket. Sounds pretty sweet. I say when we get started, we go in, kill the sons of bitches, and then make ourselves at home. Uh, you know they're gonna have guns. Looked like one of them was pretty gimped up. We can take him. Yeah. Fuck you guys. <laughs> so, Deacon's like, uh, yeah, not gonna happen. So, whatever. That's four. Says there's six of them, but Okay, for some reason it is not marking this person. Okay then. See what this guy has on him. He had one Molotov and a sterilizer. And he does have a rifle. Quips, quick swap guns. Tap square to quick swap your primary gun. Hold triangle to quick swap to your special gun. Okay, so... Come over here. As stealthy as possible. Get up behind this guy and... Got him. Let's see what he's got. So my sterilizer inventory is full. Okay. We're going to wait for this guy to turn around. There we go.
You don't need these. Who's out there? Okay, I didn't do very good there. <laughs> All right, so we'll try this again. <laughs> See, that's why I was trying to mark that guy, because then I would have known he was coming. Apparently, I made too much uh, noise. Got it. Whoops. Okay. Once again, did not mean to do that. So now I'm short a crossbow bolt. But, I think we'll try to make some. So, we go down here. Cedar saplings and scrap. We have three and ten. Okay. So we have 10. I am just, I keep messing up here. <laughs> oh, well. Makes for some interesting gameplay, I guess. Gives you guys something to watch. Yeah. Well, I think they know I'm here now. My goodness, how many shots did these guys take? Holy cow. Finally.
Regaining stealth. Um, if you've been spotted by an enemy, get out of their line of sight and hide. They'll eventually give up the search. Okay. Here you are. That's the last of them. Must have followed us here. Okay. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Five pistol ammo. Heal. I found the camp. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before. It's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up and then worry about hitting the road. I'm going to be heading to my bike, deacon out. Better than nothing. Okay, so we have a crossbow, a rifle, a bat, a pistol, and a knife. Kind of just a uh, plethora, a plethora of weapons here. <laughs> okay, we got a guy here. I'll just take these. Three pistol ammo. Okay, so we've taken these guys out and everything that they have here, it looks like I'm maxed out on. So we're going to head to Deacon's Bike. And we're full on that too. All right, so let's go ahead and head to the bike. Oh, damn freakers. Okay, so as we travel, as you can see there in front of me, there's Freakers. So, we can use the bushes as cover. In order to stay out of their way. So I think I made it past those two. Bad weather can affect your enemy's ability to see and hear. Okay, so there's a freaker there. I know I'm just sitting here, guys, but I'm kind of looking for, uh, just checking something out. I thought I was hid. This guy's getting awful close.
It's right behind the tree. It's coming closer. It's coming closer, guys. All right. Where the hell am I? I gotta be getting close. So, you want to stay near uh, tall bushes because they can give you the cover that you need <clears throat> to hide from both freakers and hide from uh, NPCs that are not dead in the game. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna keep making our way down here. Gotta get to my bike. Getting closer. Got a couple of tents over here. I don't see anything in them. Okay, I think he caught wind of me, but now we're hiding, so he's looking around. He's trying to figure it out. Keeps coming a little bit closer and a little bit closer, and we got him. All right. I gotta get close. Come on, baby. Where the fuck are you? Okay. <laughs> This is it. This is where we left it. All right, so we made it back to our bike. And the bike is gone. Cutscene. My bike's gone. Fuck! Damn it, Copeland! Hey! You're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God damn it! I didn't take your bike, man. I swear. I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! Okay, normally you probably shouldn't stop and do this because... Hey! You can't get bike. let him get too far away, but... Oh, God damn we'll go ahead and sprint and catch back up. So basically, we're going after this guy. We're heading to Copeland's camp. Got to it before I did. I'm heading to his camp. Deacon out. Because as we follow him, there are going to be freakers in the woods as well. So we want to be careful. I just saw one up there. And I don't see any tall grass. So we're just gonna run. Sprint, 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 sprint. Okay. Now we come into this massive camp, almost looks like a fortress, and it would be Copeland's camp. St. John, is that you? Some son of a bitch stole my bike! I don't know nothing about that. I gotta go talk to his man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Okay, so at these camps, there's several things that can take place. There's a kitchen where we can come over here and... Okay, I can't do it yet, I guess. Oh, yes, I can. Camp kitchen. Meat and plants can be collected and turned into encampment kitchens for trust and credit. Different types of meat and plants provide different rewards. Okay, so... We have four herbs, one berry. 
So we're going to go ahead and sell all of them. And that gave us 16 trust. And I didn't catch to see how many camp credits it gave us. But anyway, that's the kitchen. Now, if we come over here to the bounties. Turning in bounties. Freaker's ears can be collected and turned into encampment bounty collectors. For trust and credits, different Freakers provide different rewards. Jazzy. So right now we have 23 swarmer ears. And we have 5 newt ears. So let's sell, let's sell the stack of five new ears. So we hit square, yes. and that you gives us killing. ten oh, trust. And is that twelve? We gotta, I gotta check on credits here. Hey, nice. Oh, okay. So then we have, it looks like ninety-five credits. Okay then. So that would be the bounties. So that's the kitchen and the bounties. And now we come up. Oh, cutscene. Hey, hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. You work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once. Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop. Farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. That'll focus your mind. Man, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. The fool that wrote it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. I mean, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay. <laughs> So See, now when I said fool, that is Deacon's bike, was, obviously. The fools that brought that bike in, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Deacon, and... let's talk. Looks like you had some trouble. You got hit hard last night. Rippers again. Twice now they've been up so, here. I don't know how many of you have played this game. I don't think it was quite as popular as Red Dead Redemption 2. However, if you have played this game, if you compare it with Red Dead, this one's not as smooth going from cutscene to gameplay. Um, it kind of takes that break where you have the black screen and that sort of thing. But, you know... This company, this was their first attempt at an open world RPG, I guess, if you want to call it that. So, honestly, if you got to deal with a little bit of black screen in between cutscene and movement or game control, you know, like I said before, they did a pretty good job. So I was supposed to be at a Christmas party dinner tonight uh, for work. Did not go. Decided so I was going to just stay home day. and take a break. Yeah. He was bringing me something. Is that right? Trying to get our snowmobile going for my wife. She oh, wants it Leon. running so she can cruise around the yard. And Doug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Hmm. We have a sled that we can put on the back of it and haul wood Tell for you our what. wood stoves. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever die. Now, hold on. 
Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, Cope, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Cope. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. All right, so we're going to do a job for Copeland um, in the hopes of getting our gun back. Or, excuse me, our bike back. I like how it gives you the small movement markers to guide you on where to go. <laughs> So that too is something that um, Red Dead 2 does not do. So what I was going to show you is today. the merchant, camp merchants. Encampment merchants sell guns, ammo, and supplies. If you have enough credits and trust, higher trust levels unlock access to new items. Purchasing a gun automatically adds it to your gun locker. Hey. So if we go in here and we look, we open up supplies. He's got ammo. We can nice. refill for 30 cents. So up in the upper right corner of the screen is my trust level, which is 95 out of 5,000. And then my camp credits is 121. So my ammo is full uh, for the rifle. Now I'm going to fill oh, my awesome. pistol ammo. Then we're going to go over here to upgrades. So um, I can do med kit. No, I can't. Trust level 2 is required. Trust level 2 is required for the special suppressor. Trust level 2 is required for the primary suppressor. And trust level 1 is required for the sidearm suppressor. Now a suppressor makes your gun silent. So, we have to wait on these. But we can find them also. So, it's not a big deal. Uh, then if we go to the locker, we still have all the same stuff that we had before. And we can't go to that other one. All right. So, for right now, there's not a lot that we can do. All right. Dick, Dick. Hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not. Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. Ooh. Okay, so Drifters on the Mountain, 4,000 experience points. Uh, 1,000 trust. And gear up for the ride, 33%. Me and Boozer can't ride north until I fix up this bike, get some better gear. Okay. Look, Manny, it's done. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Now, in this game, you have to watch your Jesus, gas level. Bike. So while accel accelerating with R2, tap circle to perform a drift. Drifting while turning can help you take corners quicker. Uh, if you've lost your bike either at the bottom of a lake, somewhere off a cliff, or in the vastness of the Farewell Wilderness, and are still close to it, you can use the map to recover it to a nearby location. Okay. So we go and we drift. Sir, you there? Yeah, Deke. Uh, how you doing? How's the arm? Like I said, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh... 
I'm still going to head to that Nero checkpoint, find some uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment, something. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm going to go out. Make sure the mountain's clear. Sure, no, no, those are third-degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll be there as soon as I can. I guess. Um, I guess, uh, you know, I could, I could use something for the pain. Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess, I guess so. I'll see what I can find, I guess. Alright, so we're going to get off the bike here. And... So there are freakers all over the place here. This is it, the Nero checkpoint. I gotta find some shit for Boozer's arm. A can of fuel. Gas cans can be used to refill your bike and generators. You can also throw them. While holding gas can, hold L2 and to aim and tab R2 to throw. get going. Restore power to the neuromobile medic unit.
Generator. There gotta be a generator here somewhere. Waiting for this freaker to either turn around or jump up here. So now I'm going to go back over here and get the gas can again. Because I saw the generator. Bingo, here it is. Sterile bandages, where the hell would they keep this shit? Okay. So now we're inside a Nero checkpoint. And... We are going to look and see what we can find. Okay, so we got a med kit. Med kits are uh, obviously for health. Uh, we come in here. Yes, sterile bandages. Sterile bandages. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. Hello. Okay, so these are neuro injectors. Every time you find a neuro checkpoint and you get through it, you find one of these neuro injectors. Neuro injectors can be found inside neuro mobile medical units. A neuro at neuro checkpoints. Use them to permanently increase your health, stamina, or focus. Okay, so neuro tech. for uh, the Injector. process of elimination, what I'm gonna do in this one is health. Well, I was feeling a little under the weather. Uh, next time, I will probably go with focus. Focus will help me when I am shooting. Our unit is getting ready to pull out. Got word a few minutes ago. All the work we've been doing out here is a waste of time. Hundreds of infected people are swarming up the highway out of farewell. There's no stopping them. Checkpoints are all on the run. We're pulling out. Okay, I'm coming. Oh. Okay. Uh... One IPCA tech. I am not exactly sure. Okay, I'm maxed out on that. Okay, so. Might be useful. So we found our first neuro checkpoint. We were able to uh, successfully get the uh, neuro injector. Uh, we got a bandage and some other stuff here. Took out a few freakers. And so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, catch some Zs. Uh, use a bunk at safe locations like bunkers or the safe house to sleep 
and advanced time. Some challenges like infestations can be approached differently depending on the time of day. Additionally, progress can be saved when near a bunk. All right. Now we go to a cutscene that's going to show the uh, sky changing to daylight. Very nice. All right, so if we go like this, we're going to go in. And we are going to save the game. All right, drifters on the mountain. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, actually, no, we're not. We'll go into this one. Okay, now let's look. Okay. So we have our first saved one and our second saved one. Um... Go to challenge menu. Going to the challenge menu will lose any unsaved pro progress. Continue. No, I want to close. Because I know that there's new... New online things for Days Gone. Or n not online, but new uh, new things. I think that's that challenge menu. I'll have to look into it more. But anyway, guys, um, listen. I think this is going to do it for the second episode of Days Gone. We made ourselves uh, to one of the camps. We went to Copeland's camp. Got to see what they got as far as uh, merchant. And opened ourselves up a uh, couple of quests by going there. Uh, then we headed on over here to the Nero checkpoint. We got the sterile bandages that we need for Boozer's arm, and we found a Nero injector. So we're going to call it quits for this one. I want to thank you guys again for joining me, and it has been a blast. I love doing these videos for you guys. Um, like I said, I've been so excited to go on to my channel and check my status and see that I've had a few more views and, and stuff like that. Please go down below if you like this and smack that like button. And then go on over and hit subscribe. I would love to have you guys follow me. I want you to get the alerts every time I put out a new video. So that you can join in, watch along, and uh, have just as much fun with it as I am. Thanks again for watching. Please go down below and uh, fill in some comments in the comment section. And I will see you again for another episode of Days Gone possibly Red Dead Redemption 2. I, the sky's the limit. We're going to do a bunch of them. So this is Dink Gamer saying to you once again, you are never too old to game.